what? I wanted to wear pink today. Huh. It's a little bit like Chardonnay, but it's a Sauvignon Blanc. Weird. It is a 2018 Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. It's a little bit buttery. Don't love a buttery situation, but you know what? We're just we're doing it anyway. Okay guys, so I know I just did a giant like luxury haul, which I've never done before. I'm doing another haul, but it's an unboxing haul because I have some things I have not even touched. I have not even opened the boxes. So that's what this video is about today. I have some things I bought myself. I have a little bit of PR. Before we get things rolling, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Kate the Great family. Throw this video a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell. That is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. You're also probably noticing that the purple is completely gone from my hair. While I did have fun with the purple, I really did. It was time to say goodbye. So salons are open here. You do have to sign a waiver and wear a mask and all of that. But I went yesterday and it actually wasn't that strange. You know, you just adapt. You adapt to the mask and it just becomes a part of you. So I got my hair done with a mask. Have to give a shout out to my colorist, Chris, at Prima Salon in the East Village. If you guys are ever in New York City and you want like incredible incredible color. Please go see Chris at Prima. I went in, she used this product that she thought was going to strip the purple out for the most part, and it didn't strip it out as much as we thought it would. I was starting to get a little bit nervous, like what have I done with this purple hair color? But she's absolutely incredible, and even though that product didn't take the purple out, she worked her magic and put tons of beautiful highlights in and then toned my hair this icy shade, and now I'm back to, well, I'm back to normal. This is basically the shade that makes me feel most like myself. So a lot of this haul, like I'd say half of this haul is going to be Melt Cosmetics products. I've only tried one product from Melt Cosmetics and that is one of their Blush Lights blushes and I loved it. And I was like, you know what? I wanna try their brand new palette. So I got their brand new palette and a bunch of other goodies. So we're just gonna dig in here. I haven't even laid eyes on these things yet. Hopefully nothing is broken. So this is the She's In Parties palette. Um, This packaging right off the bat just the box itself is so cool it looks sort of like vintage victorian wallpaper oh and that's actually what the outside of the palette looks like as well except this is even a little bit prettier because it has that gold foil finish so this palette really spoke to me because i do not have a palette like this at all i do love purples i love just a sexy smoky purple situation i'm also trying to like push my limits try new things so i thought that i could do a lot of really fun looks with this. Like what the hell is even going on with this shade? Strange love. Oh my gosh, it feels like butter. I just have to swatch that really quick. Oh wow. Oh uh, murgered. So it looks like there are three mattes and five shimmers in this palette. This is called Skeleton Kiss, also obsessed with the names of the palette. So that is Skeleton Kiss right next to that strange love that I swatched first. Then we have two mattes. Beautiful, giving me just a very dusty Victorian situation, sort of like goth chic. So this shade is called Last Caress and this shade is called Total Immortal. This is like Edgar Allan Poe vibes. The opposite of the entire aesthetic I have on right now, essentially. Oh wow, wow, we wow, wow, wow. So this shade is called Mean Streak. This is called Sleepwalk. And this shade is She's In Parties. And this is the last shade in the palette called Lost Control. Wow. I mean, that is just, that is gonna be a scintillating, sexy, smoky situation. I love everything about this. I love the outside of the palette. The shades are stunning. They seem to go on like butter, like just, so on pins and needles to try this. But like that shade though, obsessed. What's even happening? I actually completely forgot what I even purchased. So this is actually kind of a surprise for me as well. What is this treasure? So this is their digital dust highlighter. I love their packaging. Like look at how sleek and matte that is. I love it. I love it. O-M-G. 
G. And look at Melt Cosmetics is imprinted into the highlighter itself. That is, that's a work of art. I feel like this is kind of giving me Fenty Yacht Life vibes a little bit. It's definitely close to that shade, sort of like the powder version of that shimmer stick. I am like getting chills down my spine. All this stuff is so gorgeous. I think this is the second digital dust shade. Ooh, ooh, this is the one that drew me in to want to get the digital dust. This is called Pink Moon. Ah! That is like, that's all I ever need in life. That's just on my eyes, on my cheeks, call it a day. Swatch that baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow, I really, I really I did myself here guys. Like I kind of nailed it. And by I nailed it, I mean Melt Cosmetics nailed it. <laughs> okay, well I have to put one of these on my cheeks right now, even though I already have my own highlight on my cheeks. I gotta do this one. This is the one that initially like caught my eye. Oh my, what is even happening on my cheek? Yes, I love it. I, this is my new favorite kind of highlighter, a highlighter that has a pink flip to it. I'm here for it. It's gonna go in and just kind of like go over my entire brow with it because why the hell not, right? Wow, that is just, I mean, I don't even know what to say. Wow, mom, that is bananas. Okay, Mel Cosmetics, you're making me angry. What if the whole rest of the video consisted of me just staring at this highlight? Would you be into it? Mm. <sighs> Let's see, what did I get here? Oh, I think this is a blush. Yes, yes, I got another one of the blush lights. So this is in the shade Nevermore. I mean, wow, wow, they're just nailing with the names too. And then, oof, oof a pink blush. This also has shimmer to it because it's called blush light. So you can kind of use it as a highlighter too. I'm a little bit nervous if I go in with this on my cheeks, I will look insane. Okay, well that's just stunning. That's a proper pink blush. Whoa! Oh, oh wow, yes. I am going to be able to basically light this entire city by myself tonight. Let's just kind of like tamp it down a little bit though with a powder brush. <laughs> We're getting a little crazy, Kate, calm down. Okay, okay, that's that's a little bit better. I am so excited about these blushes and highlighters. Like I am all about a one and done situation. I am absolutely gonna be using them as eyeshadows and blushes and highlighters. I've heard great things about Mel, but this is definitely like exceeding my expectations. Also like, look at this kind of cute, creepy sticker they sent, I'm into it. Okay, so last products I got are lip glosses. I think these are relatively new. These are the metal lip glosses. These look really intense, really high. I shine really bold oh, and I love the packaging I love that you can just see like a little sliver of the color there on the side yes wow that is just that is hot I would put this on my lips but I really really like the lip color I have on right now so I'm not gonna do that but don't worry all this stuff is gonna be showing up in upcoming videos and live streams <laughs> don't you worry so that's the shade lurk and then I got the shade amulet which definitely is going to pair very well from what I recall with the she's in parties palette so you can see it's very bold and berry oh yeah oh Oh yeah, that is, ooh, and you can see there's sort of like a holographic flip to that. I love that. Okay, I'm really, really excited to play with these. These look gorgeous. Okay, so next I'm moving on to some PR that I was sent. So excited about this because this is from one of my favorite skincare companies of all time, which is Fresh. Also, look at how adorable this box is. So enclosed is a note and they said, hi Kate, welcome to Fresh. Enclosed is our Fresh Faves set. We can't wait to see how you work our faves into your routine, XO Team Fresh. So thank you so much to Fresh for sending this along. I'm going to do the honors here. Packaged so lovingly. Oh, how cute. They sent along a little mini Fresh Faves five minis to go. This is absolutely adorable. Also, how cute is this little bag? Okay, well, this is like the perfect gift for anyone, first of all. So it says this is a $35 value and it includes five of their best sellers for skin and lips. So first we have their Black Tea Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence, which is anti-pollution and age delay. So that's what this product looks like. And it says gently sweep 
over cleansed face and neck with your fingertips. Use twice daily to prep your skin for serum and moisturizer. Interesting. So this is really cool because I actually just ran out of my Tatcha Essence. So I'm going to see how I like this. And the great thing about essences, I know this looks tiny, but all you need is just like a little bit, a little dabble do you. So I, I can't wait to try this. Oh yes, they sent along their sugar advanced lip therapy. <sighs> love how all of their products smell it's just it's my favorite it's very lightly scented though it's not too intense and we all know how much i love a lip product so obviously you're going to be using this when i'm not using my laneige and i think i know what this is yeah this is their soy face cleanser i have used this many times it is one of my favorite face cleansers the smell again the smell of this Oh God, it's just, see, this is why it's worth it to just spend the extra money if you have it, of course, and get something that you love using. Because the minute I open this, I'm like, I can't wait to wash my face tonight. I love when skincare feels like a ritual that you're going to look forward to. So this is for all skin types. It's rich in amino acids and gently cleanses face and eyes. Another one of my favorites, this is the Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer with Multi-Action Super Lotus. So if you guys haven't tried their Lotus line, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, again, this has a very similar scent to the Soy Cleanser and it just, Nothing smells like their products. I am sorry, but they have the best damn smelling products that exist. Yes, they also included their fresh rose face mask. I have tried a sample of this before. I love it. It is infused with real rose petals and soothes and tones. See, that's what it looks like right there. And again, like I just literally got another chill down my spine from smelling it. Okay, I'm going to just huff myself silly off of this product. So it says to apply to cleansed, damp skin, leave on for five to 10 minutes and rinse with water. It can be used daily. The thing I love about this is, this is something that I can double mask with. I can do like a purifying mask. I can do really any type of mask I want and then follow it with this. The few times I've used this, I feel like I had a sample of it and I remember taking it off and just feeling like my skin was like the most toned, the most even. I had like a little rosiness to my cheeks. It is, it's magic. It's basically magic. So I will be working all of these things into my routine, my already very labor intensive skincare routine at this point. But you know what? I love it. I love it. I love spending like, you know, between 10 and 25 minutes on skincare every night. <laughs> so thank you again to Fresh for sending this adorable little mini version of all their best selling products. This is so cute. The box. Look at it. It's a Scrabble board. So they did send along a little note and it says starting today, we're publishing nothing to hide ingredient lists on the side of our boxes. You deserve to know how much of each ingredient is in your products. We're here to give you results, not play marketing games. Okay. So I'm going to open this up and it is indeed their brand new discoloration correcting serum. It says formulated with cetyl tranexamate mesylate to target discoloration and promote an even skin tone. Apply on cleansed skin, allowed to fully absorb before applying additional serums, facial oils, or moisturizer suitable for daily use. Okay, I'm looking and I'm realizing it also completely matches what I'm wearing. I swear I had no idea that was the case. So this is the Bottle. I always love Good Molecules packaging. I just think it's so brightly colored and so fun. And I also want to show you what they were referencing. This is the nothing to hide ingredient list on the side of the box. I think this is so cool. It's so transparent, good for Good Molecules. Like for instance, I can see there's 77% water, 5% butylene glycol, 5% propanediol, 5% glycerin, 4% niacinamide. I could go on, but I'm not going to because I can't pronounce any of those names. I will definitely be adding this into my skincare routine. So just consider it like, you know, the 15th serum that I have on hand, but I am, I'm going to add this in every day and I will let you know if I see a difference in the tone of my skin. I feel like the Good Molecules Niacinamide Toner that I use every damn day. In fact, sometimes I use it twice, kind of took the place of an essence for me. And I have to say it gives me the most even skin tone. But listen, I'm not gonna be mad about a more even skin tone situation, okay? Really doesn't have any sort of a scent. I'm just gonna put it on my decollete. 
Okay, well I expect that area to be incredibly even in about an hour. I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated on all the skincare. I'm not gonna lie, my routine at the end of the night is probably not gonna be like around an hour long, but you know what, that's okay. If I could turn back town. I have to cheers something. It's hard to know what to cheers because obviously I didn't get to try everything that I just showed you, but I have to choose something. I think I have to go with this because I applied it and it's freaking gorgeous. Mel Cosmetics Pink Moon Highlight, good job. Ooh, that was a good one. Okay guys, so that wraps up my unboxing haul. This was a lot of fun. And like I said, I'm really excited to keep on trying these products and let you know what I think of them. I'm definitely going to be using the Melt Cosmetics in upcoming live streams and all that jazz, which are every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On top of my regular content, I put out two normal videos as well per week. So no matter what you love, I got you covered. I also wanted to let you guys know that the live stream that I was going to do with Teresa's Dead did get rescheduled. We are planning on doing it this upcoming Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So sorry about the change of plans, but I'm going to see you before then. I'm going to see you tomorrow night on my live stream, Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. Cheers till next time. Ugh.